Um, I got married when I was 18 years old to my middle school sweetheart. Also at the time, he entered the United States Marine Corps, so I became a military wife. Um, he got stationed over in California, hence the reason why I moved to California, and um, he went overseas three times throughout our marriage, almost four times. I was living in San Diego, and we had been living there, I think, a little over a year or so, and um, I mean, I was content, I was happy, I was um, going to college there, I was cocktail waitressing at a nightclub where I was dressing fairly inappropriate, and yeah, I was drinking a lot, so I mean, I guess I kind of thought that I was having fun all the time, family, and every time that I'd come home, I'd party hard and go out to the clubs because I had always lived at my family's house until I was 18 and then I was married so I never really had like independence. I never really felt like I knew who I was or um, what I wanted and uh, so every time he went overseas it was kind of my chance to just kind of be independent. Um, you know, he it's was in always, my heart, um, we would talk, I loved him very much, and he was very jealous and angry that I would go out all the time, but, you know, I would always try to justify it some way or another, which was kind of really messed up, but, you know, this is kind of, I've, I've been carrying guilt from everything that I've done in the past, even up until now, after I converted to Islam, um, you know, so... I pretty much just feel like I was like heartless then like I just wanted to have fun and I just wanted to do me and my happiness was the most important thing so the last time that we thought he was gonna go overseas we ended up moving me down here and since I didn't want to live with my family I decided to move in with a good friend of mine who was actually looking for a roommate at the time I just I just really wanted my total freedom so um, when I got to Florida and moved in with my friend, we just started partying. We were drinking all of the time, we were going out to the clubs all of the time, um, all of my friends were going out to the clubs, that was just kind of my scene. It was a um, lot of fun. I mean, I had a lot of fun, but you know what, like all of that stuff led up to me getting a DUI and I got a DUI May of 2011. Um, it was a bad experience. I mean, I got pulled over coming home from a nightclub uh, at like 3 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. that, but I did get pulled over by a cop. The first cop seemed, you know, pretty cool, like, you know, he just wanted to write me up for a ticket or something like that, but then a second cop pulled over and was just like, no, we, you know, we gotta take her out and, you know, give her a test. It's three o'clock in the morning, you know, we're downtown where the clubs are all at. Please, like, <laughs> look, I got a DUI, y'all. Like, it, it cost me and my family, you know, probably $10,000 getting me out of the DUI. I had to do probation, I had court cost, I had to do a hundred hours of community service. A hundred hours of community service. Every time you go to probation, you have to pay like a hundred and eighty bucks. Um, I had my license suspended for I don't know how long. Then on top of that, there was a small period of time in between court trials where you do get, I got my license back for a very small period of time, and I had not realized that that temporary license was actually suspended. And I got caught again driving now on a suspended license. If I hadn't had my dog in the back seat of my car, that cop probably would have taken me to jail that night, and that would have been my second time in jail within like three months. And that cost me even more money. Oh, well, well, you know, alhamdulillah for my parents. I have such amazing parents. Um, they really helped me out through all of that. Definitely wasn't worth it. I would never, ever recommend drinking, drinking drunk, buzzed, drink nothing. Like, don't do it. So, 
while I was in jail, of course, I called my husband at the time and, you know, told him, and of course he was not happy. My parents were not happy. My father ended up bailing me out the next morning. So, you know, I was in cuffs. I was changed into my orange outfit. I got my own jail sale. Like, you know, I even got offered to eat food in the morning. Like, I was in jail, y'all. Like, serious. And... You know, I would never, ever want anybody to go through something like that. Um, you know, but what did I do after that? I would just go out to the club and I'd get wasted and I wouldn't drive. I would, you know, I'd take a cab. Drive. So, that just kind of all led up to, I think, the destruction of my marriage. Um, I obviously wasn't being a very good wife, you know, even though when we were together, um, we were really you great. Know, there was really nothing wrong with our relationship when we were together, but then when we were separated, I ruined it. You know, I I ruined a pretty much perfectly good relationship for my immaturity, selfishness. Weekend, he actually called me and let me know that he did not want to be married anymore. And around that time, I actually started looking into Islam. After I got my DUI, it kind of started making me think, it, think about, you know, just life and spirituality and um, my lifestyle. And I had, I had met um, a few other Muslims, and I had had one already, and we would always, you know, discuss religion. And I remember her always being like, oh, Chelsea, you know, like, your thoughts and opinions are kind of Muslim, like... I just feel like you're a Muslim, like you're going to convert eventually, I know it, I know you're going to convert, you know, and I mean, I had bought a Quran, uh, you know, five years prior to that when my ex-husband went into the Marine Corps because I wanted to um, educate myself on Islam, I did not want to be one of those stupid women who just walked around and didn't know anything, and you know, somebody says something, you know, derogatory towards an Arab or a Muslim, and um, you know, I wanted to be able to say something. I wanted to be able to know that that was wrong. So I educated myself on Islam. I even wrote a paper my first semester in college when I was living in California. So when I was going through this rough time, I just thought to myself, like, what better than to, you know, turn to something that speaks of just washing away everything that was bad. And I think I just went, like, through so much bad that I just needed something. And, uh, didn't want to happen. But I found that in Islam and everything that I needed and everything that I ever wanted I found in Islam and uh, and I carry the guilt and I carry the sadness and I carry the burden of anybody who was hurt in in the process of anything that I had ever done whether it was you know, my mom, my beautiful, kind, honest mom that, you know, would have given us the world and I was just crap sometimes. Um, I got into a lot of trouble when I was a kid and, you know, I know how sad my mom was um, when the divorce was going on and everything like that. and. You know, and then I, I hurt somebody who I really cared about. So that was really hard, too. But I wouldn't change anything. I, I've i been through good times and I've been through bad times. And, you know, I went through a divorce and I've gone through a DUI. And I've gone through being a troublemaker and I've gone through being a girl that thought that all she was good for were her looks. And, uh, you know, I got, I got by on that, you know, I, I dressed nice and, you know, I, I have beautiful hair and, you know, and so I would go out and, you know, it's, I, 
I'm not going to say it's the end of the world. Like, it was just, it was a rough time. And it, and Islam found me and, you know, it's changed my life so drastically. It's changed my life so much. Like, I feel so much more purely happy than I ever have before, you know, and I realized that it wasn't, it wasn't a matter of who I was with, it's, it's because I didn't have Islam in my life, like, you know, God makes everything happen for a reason, and I think that he took me on this path to be a better person, and I'm such a better person now, like, and I think that's why I carry so much guilt now, is because I think to myself, like, who was that, like, how could I have been like that, like, that's not even me, like, I don't know, it's so weird to just see who I was, like, yeah, it was fun, I had a lot of fun, but to go through everything that I went through just for that fun, like, it's not worth it, you know, it's not worth it, like I said before, I wouldn't change it, though, because I'm a Muslim now, I'm a Muslim, and I'm with somebody that, you know, we're going to be together forever, and alhamdulillah, he's a Muslim, and I'm going to raise my children Muslim, and you know, live like this for the rest of my life. So, yeah. Thanks, Islam.